Hi, I'm Paris, and I'm an English major, not a doctor. Please keep that in mind while I tell you about this latest as seen on TV product to help people with breathing issues. It's called the Inhaler. It uses Himalayan salt in a device like an inhaler that you breathe through, and breathing air that's passed through the Himalayan salt is supposed to help to clean things out of the air and help you to breathe more easily. Small enough to fit in your pocket, doesn't require any batteries or any recharging, and according to what they say on the box, 100% natural, better breathing. So let's see what's the story behind breathing through salt and what this particular device can do. Epic review guys. I found the As Seen on TV Inhealer on my supermarket shelf. It goes for about $15. I found it online as well, and you can find out more about it at the link down below this video. So here in Austin, a couple years ago, a company set up a salt room, which had Himalayan salts lining the walls and sort of pumped through in the air, and people with breathing issues, asthma and other issues, would go for like 40 minutes, you'd sit, it was relaxing as well, and breathe that particular air, and it was supposed to help with your breathing. Sadly, they went out of business, I really wanted to go and try it, and I'm not sure the circumstances behind it, but they're no longer in business. But I do know there are salt rooms in lots of cities around the US. So this is a mini portable version of that same idea where if you're breathing air that's passed through and permeated with these little micro crystals of salt that can somehow help out your lungs. They included instructions, include a couple different ways. You can use the inhaler. They also have a list of medical cautions. They include extra Himalayan salt. It should be pre-filled, but once that's gone stale, I guess, you can refill it from this. They've also included extra filters, so the filter goes over the portion where the air gets pulled up into your mouth or your nose, depending on how you're using it. And smaller than I was expecting, this is actually the inhaler device. There cannot be much salt in here. And it is pre-filled with salt. When it's time to replace the salt crystals, after a year, from what they say, you dump out the old crystals and fill this with new crystals and snap this back on. This rubbery mesh piece keeps the salt in its part of the container, and you can pull it out pretty easily. You can see that white piece up there, that's the filter. They give you 30 of those, you should replace them monthly. That's the filter that goes to the nose breathing port. And I had to dump the crystals out to show you this. This is the filter that goes over the mouth breathing port. I've reassembled the inhaler and I'm ready to take my first breath of ocean fresh air. As I mentioned before, I can either do it through my mouth or one nostril or the other, closing the other nostril. Now for the medical contraindications, um, you should consult a qualified healthcare provider before using it. Don't use this um, as a substitute. If you have inhalers or other medication, you should be using your medication. They make a point about saying that. If you have high blood pressure or any other acute disease, you should definitely see your doctor before giving this a try. I have the mouth breathing port ready to give it a try. See if I can get some ancient ocean breath going on. <sighs> Oh, it's salty. I'm guessing there's no benefit to holding it in your lungs longer. It's a little different from smoking or vaping. So they do say, though, don't exhale into the salt. Obviously, the moisture from your lungs wouldn't be very good for that. Salty. Not ocean-y, though, just salty. Let me try again. Okay. One thing I can tell you though, and this may have something to do with it helping you to breathe better naturally, is that by breathing through this small opening, it does force you to breathe more slowly and more deeply. And for a lot of people, that's much more healthful than the way that they naturally breathe. Here we go. <clears throat> It's kind of making the sound of an ocean roar as I was doing it. 
I guess there's a little saltiness to it. To that extent, it's like the ocean, but there's no seaweed, fish, or other smells. It's just there's a little bit of a salty tang that it leaves as you're breathing in. So does just one or two breaths provide you with that improved breathing? No, they recommend you do this for 15 to 20 minutes per day. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. You can do it for five minutes at a time, several times during the day. Doing it that amount of time during the day is supposed to result in some improvement. Now, it, this goes along with my idea that part of what this might be doing for you is forcing you to breathe slowly and deeply. They include a page of breathing exercises. They have pursed lip breathing, abdominal breathing, alternate nostril breathing, breath counting, basically focused breathing like meditation does where they have you pay attention to how you're breathing and as a result you may do a better job of it irrespective of whether there are any Himalayan salt crystals. Again, I'm disappointed that here in Austin we no longer have a salt room. I really would like to try that out and I think if you're interested in the Himalayan salt side of this therapy for improving your breathing issues that probably that's the way to go if your doctor clears it to go intensive and to be in one of those salt rooms but if you don't have that locally or you've tried that and you like it but you can't afford the ongoing fees with it it's possible a portable inhaler could offer some of the benefits of the salt but it definitely offers the benefits of breathing deeply and slowly so the inhalers, an interesting idea, portable Himalayan salts in case you need them on the go, but you'll have to decide if this would be right for you, possibly with the assistance of your doctor. Well, that's a fox by nobody knows, but before he goes shopping, he watches a video.